Transport yourself back to 1956, a year marked by cultural shifts and intriguing cinematic releases. Enter World Without End, a sci-fi gem that delves into a post-apocalyptic world. As Earth-bound astronauts struggle to navigate an unfamiliar landscape fraught with mutated creatures, this film captivates with its futuristic vision, an exploration of human resilience. Have you ever found inspiration or impact in unexpected places, such as through this movie? Or perhaps, amidst the diverse characters, was there one that stood out as your favorite? Now, let's delve deeper. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the legacy of this cinematic journey. The 1956 movie World Without End marked a significant departure from Monogram Pictures, which later became Allied Artists. It was an attempt to shed their low-budget image. This film received a larger budget, shot in color, and cinema scope, and ran longer than their usual movies. It was a strategic move to secure percentage contracts instead of flat rates for screenings. The production aimed to elevate the studio's reputation and break away from their typical style. The story, set in a post-apocalyptic world, features a curious detail. The only manually unlocked and bolted door leads outside, where romance unfolds between Borden and Garnet. Other entrances in the film operate automatically, adding a unique touch to the setting. These efforts to break away from their previous image and the peculiarities within the story contributed to the movie's distinctive position within the studio's catalog. Titled World Without End, the 1956 film takes a unique spin on post-apocalyptic narratives. Diverging from the familiar narrative in H.G. Wells The Time Machine, where advanced humans live above ground and primitive creatures reside below, this movie flips the script. Here, humanity has evolved underground, showcasing an intriguing role reversal with the primitive mutates dwelling on the surface. The film's title itself carries significance, drawing inspiration from a modern Anglican version of a Catholic doxology. The phrase world without end resonates throughout the narrative, adding a layer of depth to the story. March 1957 and 2508 serve as the backdrop for the plot, allowing the audience to witness the contrast between the post-apocalyptic world and the timeline in which the film was produced. This departure from the typical post-apocalyptic trope and the incorporation of religious symbolism make World Without End a distinct entry in Monogram Pictures' portfolio. The film not only explores a creative narrative, but also delves into the complexities of human evolution and societal structures in the face of apocalypse. In essence, World Without End stands as a cinematic anomaly, using its narrative twists and historical inspirations to carve a niche within the studio's catalog. The exploration of reversed roles and the interplay between religion and post-apocalyptic elements make it a compelling watch for those seeking a fresh take on the genre. In the opening credits of World Without End, a model of Earth circles prominently, a visual testament to the film's pre-satellite era production. Notably released in 1956, the movie predates the first satellite images of Earth in 1959. During this period, studio designers lacked the knowledge of the planet's cloud formations, evident in the model's portrayal. This cinematic detail inadvertently places the film within a specific time frame, highlighting the technological limitations of its production era. Moreover, writer-director Edward Burns, credited with helming world without end, makes an intriguing claim. He asserts the invention of the term mutate in the film, acknowledging that mutant has since gained more popularity. Burns' contribution to language within the science fiction genre adds an interesting layer to the movie's legacy, showcasing how it played a role in shaping the terminology associated with post-apocalyptic narratives. Interestingly, the film's journey to the screen included a working title, Flight to the Future. This alternative title hints at the thematic elements explored in the movie, providing a glimpse into the speculative nature of the narrative. The decision to settle on World Without End speaks to a deliberate choice, emphasizing the film's departure from conventional post-apocalyptic tropes and its unique perspective on a world reshaped by cataclysmic events. In conclusion, World Without End from 1956, with its circling Earth model, the coinage of the term mutate, and its initial working title, stands as a notable piece within the realm of science fiction cinema. The film's contributions to language, visual representation, and thematic exploration make it a distinctive entry in the genre's history.
the production of the 1956 movie World Without End harbors an intriguing detail unlike many science fiction films of its time. None of the individuals responsible for the special effects received on screen credit. This departure from the norm adds a layer of mystery to the film's behind the scenes efforts, emphasizing the focus on narrative and thematic elements rather than highlighting the technical contributors. As we delve into the world of world without end, it becomes evident that the film's creators deliberately chose to keep the spotlight on the storyline and its unique features rather than the traditional acknowledgement of special effects expertise. This departure from the standard practice of crediting special effects teams sheds light on the filmmaker's priorities and sets the tone for an exploration of the movie's distinctive contributions to the science fiction genre. Released on a double bill with Indestructible Man, the 1956 movie World Without End found itself sharing the spotlight in theaters. However, behind the seemingly routine pairing lies an intriguing detail that adds a layer of cinematic complexity. Unlike the films it shared billing with, World Without End faced legal turbulence, as the H.G. Wells estate sued the producers for plagiarism. Despite the apparent dissimilarity between the two films, the estate cited similarities to Wells' novel The Time Machine, sparking a legal battle that transcended the surface differences. Ironically, the connection deepened when the producers of The Time Machine cast Rod Taylor, the star of World Without End. This legal entanglement and the subsequent casting choice provide a unique lens through which to explore the intricacies of World Without End's journey and its unintended ties to the literary works of H.G. Wells. Lisa Montel, the last surviving member of the credited cast of 1,956 Seconds World Without End, holds a unique place in the movie's history. With the recent passing of Nancy Gates in March 2019, Montel stands as the sole survivor among the credited cast members. This fact sheds light on the passage of time and the lasting impact of the film on the lives of those involved. As we reflect on the movie's legacy, Montel's status as the last surviving cast member becomes a poignant testament to the passage of time and the way in which films connect us to the past. The longevity of Montel's connection to World Without End adds a layer of historical significance to the movie, underscoring its role in the collective memory of both cinema and those who contributed to its making. In exploring the individuals associated with the film, Montel's position as the final survivor becomes a focal point, allowing us to appreciate the enduring nature of this 1956 production. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing journey through the 1956 classic, World Without End, let the echoes of its timeless narrative linger in your thoughts. Like an undiscovered galaxy waiting to be explored, this cinematic gem has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on your imagination. As you navigate the recesses of your own mind, allow the film's narrative threads to intertwine with your personal experiences. What moments struck a chord with your soul? Was it the futuristic landscapes that sparked your wanderlust? Or perhaps the profound exploration of human resilience in the face of the unknown? Now, I invite you to become part of the cosmic conversation. Share your musings, your reflections, and your favorite fragments of the celluloid odyssey. Let the pixels on the screen become a canvas for your memories and the characters, your companions in this journey through time. As we revel in the collective nostalgia, let the symphony of shared experiences resonate. Your thoughts, like constellations in the night sky, add a unique brilliance to the legacy of World Without End. Join hands with fellow travelers in this cinematic universe, connecting through the timeless threads woven by the storytellers of yesteryear. Thank you for taking this voyage with us, for allowing the past to paint its hues on your present. Your time and thoughts are cherished celestial gifts that enrich the tapestry of our shared cinematic history. Until the next adventure unfolds on the silver screen, remember, the magic of world without end lives on in the echoes of our reflections.